I S U P K. All I'm going to tell you, man, if you want to stay plugged in and tuned in, make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. A lot of powerful information will be coming out this summer, and you want to stay tuned in. The minute they drop it, it's coming right to you, baby, as soon as you subscribe. So make sure you handle that business and subscribe to your ISUPK. Representation in America. Read. Of the great city. Great city. Remember, we read it earlier. Read. Which is spiritually is called Sodom. Which is spiritually called what? Sodom. Sodom. Why is it called spiritually Sodom? Because it's full of homosexuals and lesbians. That's why it's called spiritually Sodom. Read. And Egypt. And Egypt. Why? Because Egypt is synonymous with what? The slavery of the Israelites, right? The people in America who came here and was here that was put into slavery are the children of Israel. This is also Egypt spiritually. You understand? This is spiritually Egypt, you understand? We here and we don't even know we so dead. We don't even know that we still the slaves of America. Feel right. that for a second. Feel that. Shut up, Captain Al-Shabari, you're saying too much. Might make the white man pissed off at you. Damn right, you should be pissed off at me. Because I'm pissed off at your whole race and culture right. for what you did to our people. You know what I'm saying? This place right here is spiritually silent because of all the homosexuals and lesbians. You understand? Right. Is there any more? Let me ask you a question. Can I ask you one? Are you a lesbian? What? Why not? You, it's not important. Well, are you are you one of these people on this list here? Can I ask you that question? Okay, are you either black or Hispanic? Can you read? Not a different culture? You from New York, can you read though? Which one of these people on this list? Is your father from one of these people right here? Which one, the, the Jew on top? Negro? Germany. From Germany? Oh, that's right. Because your father's not one of these people. He's from Germany. He's a Jewish. Have you seen your father? Have you met him? He died a long time ago. 
Uh, have you ever met him though, before he died? Of course. So who told you that? Uh, who told you that your father was Jewish? His spirits? His spirit his spirits told you that. His parents told you that. You used to live with your grandmother? Your grandparents? What nationality were they? They were from Germany, so they were German. So, so what's your what's your mother's nationality? West Indian. You know what I'm saying? I figured that, you know what I'm saying? What island? Okay. You're the Dominican Republic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so, so listen, let the, the, the me let you know something. El hombre blanco is a diablo, okay? In the Dominican Republic, it's Spanish. You, you understand, right? El hombre blanco is a diablo. The white man is the devil, you understand? You all identify yourself as black? And who told you that? You did, right? I'm, I'm, I'm about 90% sure you're not white. Most, most, do, most Dominican, you're right, it's an opinion. But I'm, I'm giving you my opinion based on experiences. Most Dominicans willingly identify with European or Caucasian heritage because it's culturally acceptable in Dominican Republic. It's not culturally acceptable in Dominican Republic to call yourself black. It's, it's, it's better, it's like a life passport to identify with white, to be white, is either you're Irish or you're German or something. But I could, I, I'm almost certain I could bet my last dollar that you're a black woman that just been brainwashed through Dominican Republic culture, which is, which is culture in every, in every one where the 12 tribes are. Right. Everywhere the 12 tribes are, we try to be white right. because it's easier in life. Because it's easier in life if you, if you feel clean about yourself if you feel better about yourself and that's what we do as a nation not just dominicans puerto ricans trinidadians jamaicans we all in some way form or fashion in real life try to appropriate white culture to make ourselves feel better because nobody wants to be a haitian nobody wants to be a dominican nobody wants to be a black dominican no it's okay to be a white dominican but it's not, it's not good to be a black Dominican. Nobody wants to be Mexican. Nobody wants to be El Salvadorian. Everybody wants to be some sort of dark-skinned white person. You more than likely is a black woman who just been taught that you was white, but you're not white. And that's why you're trying to stand up from, for homosexuality. But it's not about your feeling. It's about what you can prove. The Bible says prove all things. And according to the seed of your father, that's who you are. Right. Now, if you can't prove to me that you came out a white man's rug, you are a black woman that just lost. And that's why you're defending homosexuality. You better give up that lifestyle that, you, that you're trying to hide before the Lord hurts you more. Before the Lord hurts you more. And if you know anything about Dominican history, right? There was, a, there was a, what the America called a dictator by the name of Luquillo, Dominican leader who taught Dominicans that they were white. He bred it into them that they were white. You better go check the history. It's like the captain said, you you a black woman, but you just trying to hide behind the white face. You understand? You're not that. You know what I'm saying? Why did he say that? Because of all the wickedness that was going on. Okay? That's why he said that. You gotta understand something. It had nothing to do with only rape. Sodom and Gomorrah is mainly talking about homosexuality. And now, guess what? If you, if right now, if you go before the U.S. court, right, whether it be the, uh, whatever court, right, whatever court system in America, and you, and there's a case brought out about a man raping another man, what they would charge you with? Not just rape, but what else? Sodomy, right? So, you ever heard the term sodomy? Where do you think they get the word sodomy from? Right. From Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sodomy is when a man sticks his rod into another man's You know why? Because in Sodom, in Sodom and Gomorrah was full of it. 
You know what I'm saying? And guess what? If you don't believe that, we're going to show it to you in the scripture. How full Sodom and Gomorrah is full of homosexuals. Got it? Genesis 19. Genesis chapter 13, verse 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Verse 14. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that lot was separated from him. God said that they were wicked men, but and not just wicked men. They were ex exceedingly wicked. You understand? Read. Verse 14. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that lot was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes and look from the place where thou art northward. They were not rapists. They were wicked men. You understand? You know what I'm saying? They were not rapists. They were wicked men, but exceedingly wicked. You know what I'm saying? Got it? Read. Genesis chapter 19, verse 4. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come on up. You hear what it's saying? The men of the city, even the men of Sodom, I mean, he's specifically letting you know, these men come from Sodom. Read. Come past the house. Right. Meaning this, they surrounded the house. Whose house? It was Lot's house. Abraham's um, um, nephew. Read. Right. Both old and young. Uh -huh. Both old and young. Read. All the people from every quarter. Uh -huh. All the people from every quarter, meaning every district, every community. Read. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, where are the men which came unto thee this night? Now hold up. You hear what it's saying? They told us that these men are from Sodom. They went to Lot, and they told Lot, where are the men? Read. Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. You understand? They say, bring them out to us, that we may know them. Meaning, they were telling Lot, bring those men out here, because we want to have sex with them. Right. That's what it's saying. You get it? That's why you walk away, because the Bible disproves your disbelief, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whatever you believe, God disproved it right now. Right. Sodom, sodomy, all the same is talking about homosexuals. Right. This is why this is written in the book. It said the men of Sodom from every quarter come past Lot's house and told Lot, where are the men that are with thee? Right. Bring them hither, right? Bring them here, in other words, that we may know them. He was so much homosexuality, so much lesbianism in America, in Sodom, in Sodom and Gomorrah, that God had to thermonuclear nuclear it off the face of the earth. That's why the archaeologists can't find it. And guess what's going to happen to America? Because it's full of homosexual pride, lesbian pride, pride this, pride that. You understand? Read it again. Genesis chapter 19, verse 4. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house, round, both old and young. <laughs> In the thing, you had young homosexuals and old homosexuals. That's like where? In America. When you go to gay pride, it ain't just young gays. <laughs> Black, flocking up and down, right? Like ducks and down, down a gay parade. You got the old bag days also, right? <laughs> like walking the street, God, like old God, hostages. God. <laughs> God. Disgusting, read. All the people from every corner, everywhere inside of them, read. Verse 5 And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Imagine, could you imagine living in a society where every corner you turn there's some foodiness happening? Right. That you had to hold your kids real close to your legs because some food might just grab your child and be like, ooh, look, a two-year-old boy not twiddling his thumbs, plotting on how to take away your child so that way he can call um, get that boy side of me also. You don't have to wonder because you're living in Sodom right now. Why am I making that comparison? Black man, if you have kids, keep them real close to you, sisters. Keep your sons and daughters close to you. Stay close to your man. Because America full of these homosexuals and lesbians, and most importantly, they full of white people. Right. 80%. Where is it safe in America? Ain't no place safe. 
The white man is the goddamn devil. That's Let's right. go back into revelation. Let's go back to where we left off. Revelation, revelation where we at? Second verse? 18. Drop down to the fourth verse, 18 and 4. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God is talking to the blacks and the Spanish and Native American. And he's saying, come out of her, my people. Something that I have to make black people understand and point out, make Hispanics and Native Americans point out this. God has a people. And he said, my people. Notice it doesn't say the people of the world, the people of the earth, right? You don't say that, right? Read it again, just in case. Come out of her, my people. See that? Can I read it again? Come out of her, my people. I have to read it three times. So that way black people and Hispanics and Native American Indians can stop believing the white man doctrine that God is the God of all people. That's not what the Bible said. It just told us, come out of her, my people. If you are on this 12 tribe sign right here, only you, only us are his people. That's right. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Understand? God don't want people on this list right here to participate in any of the white man's nastiness. That's right. Any of the white man's holidays. Right. Any of the white man's foul things. Homosexuality. Anything that come out the white man is against God. That's right. God don't want us to participate in any of it. You who reward no doubt.